Isn't that weird? Hey, man. Hello. Thank you for the host. Now reply. Now reply. Thanks. I studied too long to be best. No rain or baby rage. Yep. So what do we got here? Corazim etc. Okay. First thing I want to tell you, we have three backliners. So I'm gonna play very defensively. In fact, hey Grubby, how do I decide between Rune Tap and Immortal Coil? Easy, never take Rune Tap. Take only Icebound or Mortal Coil. Hey, thank you for the resub, Senyo. 15 months. I'm gonna go for block. Uh, yeah, I just want to tell you guys my game plan and you can see whether I'm succeeding at that or not. I want to play very defensively. And in fact, I'm gonna try and only you use power slide perpendicular to the battle lines so that I can get away because if I ever power slide forward with a team like mine none of them can dive with me if I should never power slide forward except if I am positive that it will lead to not only a good situation but kills as well holy ground Diablo's damage Linara, Greymane, they will chunk the hell out of me. No, don't take too much tower fire. I'm even thinking if stage dive would be a good idea, but I think just as a threat, Moshpit is probably better. The reason I went for block and not for rolling like a stone is because if I go for rolling like a stone, I'm saying I'm on maximum range on my opponent so that I... Oh my god. Jesus. What the frack? I'm sure you guys just... Sorry, I had to... if you're not reading chat, something happened in chat. Anyway, the main reason to get rolling like a stone is for ganks. We don't have follow-up ganks, we don't have any other stunners. And to uh, more aggressively set up your mosh pit, which I almost never really want to do. In fact, because I'm the solo uh, the solo tank and there's no real other frontliner, I need block for sustain, for defense. But at four, you still get double neck guitar because it's the best one. Like now, if I had a diving team. If I had a diving team, I would have power slide in with a situation like that. But with my team, I will almost never power... Oh my god. That cocktail killed him. I will almost never power slide in. Asda, 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 asda. I was gonna vote Trump, but that spam in Twitch that convinced me to vote Clinton Kappa. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a spam. Man, Arcane Punisher. Gets killed so easily. Again, the only way that I want to power slide forward is if I think we're going to get it killed. Because then, even if I die, it's going to be 4v4. But generally, I should try not to die at all. Because my team is pretty... I don't want to say hopeless or anything like that. Because they all have some kind of mobility. They can try to get away. But they're without a warrior. Without peel, without stuns. So yeah. So what do I get here? Just keep rocking is pretty good against Ariel Diablo. Probably get that one. Or loudspeakers. More knockback. 
Actually, I think that's the one I want, because I'm playing for peel here. Yeah, I'm gonna get loudspeakers. I'm playing the version of ATC, which is maximum peel, which is revolving around face smelt. Oh, face melt, it's called. At level 13, I'll take face smelt, and at 16, either imposing or encore to do two Ws. This way, I can push off a Diablo or a Tyrael from my backline twice. Exactly, I am Sheldy. We we agree here, I am Sheldy. I'm playing Peel Build. Because I like it, Riot Game sucks. Which is, by the way, someone's user username, not my opinion. I guess Falstaff is the best follow-up for my power slide because he has a slow. No one else even has a slow. What is a pleb? Uh, a pleb is a person who doesn't know or doesn't know much or can't do much, something like that. Like a beginner. It's it's this new word. I don't know exactly where it came from, Flutina. So this kind of power slide is okay, but you don't want to power slide into the opponent's team. When you're playing an ETC with this particular setup against this particular setup. I'm actually thinking of not taking Mosh Pit to answer your question, Priyold. Ariel can interrupt, Diablo can interrupt. That's it. It's not a lot of interrupts. But the the actual the chances of hitting both with Mosh is fairly low. Though the threat of Marsh Pit is enough to have Diablo save his Apocalypse. I think I just don't take my ult until level 10 for the opponent. If he takes Lightning Breath, I will just have to stun Aria. Maybe Diablo and me both don't take our level 10 until level 13. Because he might be waiting for me. <laughs> oh. Oh, it comes from Plebeian. Like a commoner? Oh, gepeupel? Gepeupel, yeah. Pleb in Dutch is gepeupel, in case you were wondering. Like the, the common scrubs, right? So we're both not picking alt, because he will only take APOC if I go Marsh. <laughs> we just need to try and force them to use it. Why are you eating tea? This is fresh ginger tea. So it's pieces of ginger cut made into tea with honey, gojira. So the pieces of ginger are actually very spicy and edible, very tasty. Diablo, please. My girlfriend loves ginger, so eat it raw. She's insane. Ginger is so tasty and so healthy. It's super healthy. This is actually insane. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, man. <laughs> this is weird. Ariel just missed her blind. <laughs> right on time. Oh, I should have taken my next as well. <laughs> I tapped in the middle of the fight. Is that a new strut? Doesn't Tyria ult also counter Mosh? Yeah, but it's like, if they're saving their alts for mine, that's a good thing, no? That was kind of fun to wait. Uh, I think the Mosh was like pretty good. We got massive value out of it. Only because Ariel, by the way, missed his E. I got three out of the four people in it. But because... Uh, yeah, I guess because we already had one dead or something, we were unable to completely wipe. Normally it's Li Ming's job, right? To kill everyone. That's why she's Li Ming. Oh my god. Blue balls. I can turn. Okay, full life again, but we're almost 16. We have devouring maw. I'll go for um, encore. Let's knock this fool out. <laughs> Tyrion and me were like looking at each other. <laughs> what the hell was that, man? <laughs> I didn't want to do anything. Ariel was my target. <laughs> What's, up? What's up? How are you doing? That was so ridiculous. Uh. Does he have the quest? No, he went for uh, Quicksilver Bullets. Come here often? Yeah. <laughs> Tyrell just wanted to chat. Not APOC. Ariel's not dead yet? Holy damn. I think she will die eventually. So let's try to get Diablo. Kill them all. Let none survive. That was good. 
Who wants to take this Merc again? <laughs> so good. Hey man, I requested some tips and I tricks on Kerrigan two weeks ago. Today, I finally played some really amazing games with her. Thanks again for the help. Nice, Freeze this. I'm sure your practice paid off too. But thanks for crediting me. <laughs> Why is the stream laggy? It isn't for anyone else as far as I know, Blaze 2 Pro. So try to turn one notch of quality down. I'm not dead. Can I get an encore? Do you want more? Are you speaking English as good as Dutch made? I mean, as well? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I actually started deteriorating in my Dutch a little bit. Because I don't speak it all that much anymore. Sometimes I can't find a word. Guys, what do you think? Kirby, what do you think about Alarak from playing the PTR? Keep in mind, I played Alarak like three weeks ago at Gamescom. Uh, at Gamescom, didn't really like him. PTR, a little bit more. But I need to see how he is on live servers to know, uh, you know, whether whether I'm really liking him. But I don't think he's 100% my hero. Might change in time though. Wow, the gust plays. See, I'm try I always try to do perpendicular uh, perpendicular power slides, as in uh, sideways to the fight, so that I don't get caught behind any lines. And I need I need more heals. If I can get Diablo and Ariel, then it's a mosh pit worth having. See, power sliding backwards is both safer and still very effective. <laughs> Damn. Damn. The chase was not effective. I thought maybe I could just clip the edge. Gotcha. <laughs> that was probably not the best mosh fit I've done all fight. <laughs> so that's why he danced. What's this free to play thing? I am simulating what it's like to be a free to play player by picking only heroes that are either on the free rotation or worth 2,000 gold. And I, and within those limits, I try to just pick the best hero or the, or the one that I am pretty good at. Rip. Greedy. 
Man, I couldn't power slide. There. We need to get out of here. Hey. Hey, Trickslayer. Thanks, man. Ten months. What a bro. Did we get core damage? Wait. It looked like the boss wasn't attacking. Are we going back in? I'm I'm not sure about that. This is totally safe, right? Two versus five, most obvious location. Yeah, totally safe. In before, just do this a uh, hundred more times and we win the game. Just stay, don't move, pretend that you don't know that you got revealed. It's not smart to hide in a creep tumor bush because people will just use skill shots to clear the creep and then you'll be revealed as well. In fact, you should probably creep every bush and then the one that you don't creep go stand there. I'm dying. Nice. Ooh, nice. But I think it's a disengage, no? Uh oh. We do have camps pushing, so if we can buy time, that will be good. Maybe we can just start it? Since they're defending, we should definitely get like 10, 15. Oh, oh. Oh. He shielded me and I got saved. But, 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 but. <laughs> hey Kirby, how imperative is give him the axe when you're playing Muradin? Uh, I would get it when you're second or third warrior, Gretzky. But even then, if you have really reliable damage dealers, the stun jump is really good as well. I would get give him the axe if your team doesn't have a lot of um, burst damage. And your second warrior. Get the globe for the team. Mm, they got it. We need to get out of here. And we need the boss not to jump on us. Okay, nice disengage. We still have many forts, so we don't need to risk it. I think we might get core damage. Could probably just go core to be honest, but it's a bit risky. Okay, oh my god, that was okay. We got core damage. I think we really could have gone core, but like f keep fast up here. 
But we just have to defend and then we'll win already. And now we just stop their portals without dying immediately. Well, there's no more push, so we don't really need to chase. That was good. Uh, we didn't lose keep, we got 49%. It was just an opportunity attempt. I'm still poisoned, so they know where I am. If we kind of don't show in the minion wife, okay, two of us showed, so they can kind of guess. I thought maybe we can go get this one. <laughs> I want. Karazim wants a fight. Well, do we give it to him? Alt and left click is how you say you're ready to use it, Thorgrim. How do you call an ETC who defends his backline? Peel TC. I'll show myself out now. <coughs> I don't want to give him the fight. Try Danish and Josh. He's dead. Why did he kill himself? This is the Jaina from before. Just wanted to point that out. From Tomb of the Spider Queen. I don't know why. At level 23 v 23. You would deep push a lane. Who wants to take this Merc camp? I am all you can't even say it was trying to get level 20 or something. Okay. Um, we could have tried to go all in, but it's really risky against uh, Lunara to all in at core because she has lots of splash and so does the core. I thank you. I'm back, buddy, and had a great full time with my I'm friend. I'm really glad to hear that. It's been so long, and now Aww. I get to watch Grubby for the end of it and then play games. Aww. Mahalo, Nuilo, buddy. Knowing what I know about you, Resikan, I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you, man. Have a good time. Yeah, I think we can go core too. Oh, they're all just here. Okay, nice, nice moves by the team. That's Diablo. Oh wow, Diablo with Bolt. No core yet. God, this Lunara, so fast. Alright, we got a... Now they definitely want to fight. Level 30 is max, whoever asked. I've never gotten a level 30 game. Has anyone ever got 30 game here? The highest I got was either 29 or what I think it was, excuse me, 28.
Frogger. Oh my god, that was a good palm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, I took death metal. <laughs> I took death metal. Because I thought we were all inning them before at the top core. And then I was like almost dead. <laughs> I was wondering why I didn't have a level 20. Yeah. Amazing players. Such nice teammates. GG. Well played times nine. <laughs> wow. Cool. I thought that Li Ming was totally done for. In so much trouble. Oh yeah, we leveled up. What are we now? 11. We just turned it up to 11. So fitting. Turn it up to 11. Uh, talent build was WWW build. With death metal. Double neck guitar and block. For more survivability. And I think it was very helpful. Lunara again with the sick damage output. Li Ming with the kills, the damage, very few deaths. Thank Karazim for that. Zagara, push power, infest. Hydralisk, Mutalisk, healing. And a Fury of the Storm. And Giant Killer Falstad with Seasoned Marksman and Secret Weapon. I like that. Cool. Um, please highlight this game or put it on YouTube. It was amazing in every way. Aw, oh, thanks, Monkey Futus. Yeah, I think we will. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Does ETC have the most viable level 20 options? I think so. Let's first just say Monkey's Uncle 8211 that he has the most level 20 options, period. Not every hero has five choices. And ETC actually has five, and they're all good. They're really, all of them very good. All five. So, yeah. Um, I go Shifting Sands. <laughs> I saw it all right. <laughs> 